It was, it was kind of tragic on the lake. People were really concerned about the milfoil, which is an invasive plant, and it actually choked off the lake. Um, there were so many nutrients coming into the lake that uh, the plants would grow. People didn't know how to take care of them. They would use bed springs in order to drag the, the weeds out into the middle of the lake. They'd leave them each, each time it would propagate, and there was more weeds and more weeds. So we had a lake study. Uh, we killed all the milfoil down. One of the recommendations from um, Eastern Washington University was that we would sewer the lake. And by that, we would take a lot of the nutrients out of the lake from people's septic tanks. And then by then, we would clear up the lake and help control the weed problem, which uh, basically we're under a control system now. Um, it's just been working really well. We've got this system on lake now that uh, just controls those weeds and taking a lot of nutrients out. And it's, everybody loves it. Um, my husband and I moved here in about, uh, about 32 years ago, and uh, we built a house on Sashing Lake. Uh, in order to do that, you of course had to put in septic and water, and, um, which wasn't easy here. Uh, this lake is built in a granite bowl. Uh, there are huge granite boulders even outside my door, and um, so to put a sewer system in is difficult. The Sashine Lake project had a number of challenges and the ones that I would say um, were probably the biggest were uh, one, it's in a very uh, uh, tif difficult area geologically, lots of uh, terrain, lots of boulders, lots of rock. To solve the, the sewer challenge at Sashine Lake, uh, the, the individual residents had tried to um, investigate their own on-site systems. And, the lake area was developed uh, 50, 60, 70 years ago, very small lots that do not support themselves. There were a lot of septic systems on the lake. There were a lot of homes that really didn't have septic systems. They had 55 gallon drums um, or hole in the, in the ground that they just piped whatever to. Part of our project was to dismantle all of the septic tanks, right? And so we would find some of these septic tanks and we'd look in the holes and we'd take pictures of all of them and we call it our dirty picture file. Right? And so on the dirty picture file, sometimes when we would open up a septic tank, like a boat would go by and it would create a wake and you could see a, <laughs> up and down inside a septic tank. That gave us a pretty good clue of what was going, going on here. So by putting in a sewer system, uh, we could alleviate, try and alleviate any of that uh, danger of septic systems and drain fields that are failing. We looked at gravity, sewer, uh, collection. We looked at septic tank effluent pump systems with low pressure uh, and then we looked at uh, uh, the, the raw sewage um, uh, collection system with grinder pumps in the same low pressure collection system. Uh, the gravity sewer uh, didn't didn't last very long as far as an alternative or a viable alternative and the, the reason was is you know there's a fair amount of topography, terrible uh, geology, we have a solid rock and we have huge boulders uh, and then most folks are built down on the lake shore and so to gravity away from the lake uh, was also a challenge. So um, the more we looked into that one, the more that one became uh, just a non-viable alternative. The, the other two, the septic tank effluent pump system and the, and the grinder system were uh, alternatives. The, probably the reason we didn't go with the septic tank effluent is because that would have required installation of a, a bigger excavation septic tank on every lot. Uh, and there just wasn't room. There was, these houses were built and to get into the backyards down in front of the lake uh, was nearly impossible. So the uh, attractiveness of the individual grinder stations was, uh, was neat because we could dig a smaller hole and especially if we're in the rock, uh, less, less costly. And so that's one of the reasons we ended up going with that system. We looked at multiple systems and the one that was chosen was to provide each individual home residence with its own grinder pump that takes all the solids, all the liquids off of the property and takes it on out to the lagoon system where it is treated um, into the three lagoons and then land applied onto a forest. So, so I like the all-terrain system because it's uh, it allowed us to put the same pump in everywhere around the lake. So I've been involved with other uh, lake systems and they've had six or seven different pump models uh, to go in different areas of the collection system and this one is is very nice and that it's the same pump everywhere and it doesn't matter whether we have a duplex setup or a simplex setup it's it's the same pump uh, it keeps it simple for the operator and and I think just every time we can keep things simple it's going to last a lot longer there hasn't been much maintenance on our pumps 
I think the E1 pumps um, are pretty reliable, and um, I know ours ours just hums. Yeah, yeah. so since the system has been online, I, I haven't got any callbacks for the uh, collection system that was installed, the, the uh, grinder pump all-terrain system. It's been uh, worked uh, very well. We, we started out with, uh, with a, a, a scientist named uh, David Lamb, and so he taught us how to do water quality studies. So we would go ahead and do water sampling and then one of the other things that we would do would be uh, this disc, and it's called a Secchi disc. And so what it does is um, you lower that disc into the water and you measure um, at the point where it disappears. And typically before um, the sewer was put in, it would, we, we'd measure it down and it would be like 4.5 uh, 4 meters down. So that's when we would lose the uh, ability to see it. Then after the sewer was put in, our, our readings were more typically more like six meters. So that's about a 25% increase, a measurable increase on how well the water clarity had done. And then the, the neighbors, um, they all talked about, well, I can see the bottom a lot more vividly than I could before. You know, I could see rocks that I didn't know were there and things like that. So um, we've got multiple people that have come back to us and say how much clearer the water is since we, we've got the sewer going. I think it's been a very good system, uh, pretty, pretty easy to use. Um, you flush and it goes. Uh, and, and we know it goes to a better place than it used to.